Today, we're going to react to one of the sickest and most demented TikTok videos I've seen in some time. And that is saying something. This woke TikToker was asked to explain how one should explain kink and fetish to a under 10 year old child who they brought to pride and was exposed to these things. Really bizarre and disturbing stuff. Trigger warning to anyone with common sense. You're about to hear some brain rot. Let's take a look. Did you have fun today, kiddo? It was your first Pride Parade. That's amazing. We saw a lot of new things. Did you see anything that you have questions on? Those were different, huh? I don't think you've ever seen anything like that before. But you know, different isn't bad, right? It's actually really important that we have different things. Can you imagine if we only had one flavor of ice cream? That'd be real boring real fast. So those people were doing a type of adult dress up. And just like when you put on your dinosaur costume and that makes you feel good, when they put on those things, it makes them feel really good. You're smarty pants and you're right sometimes. It can be about that, but not always. There are details about this that I can't share with you yet, but we can keep having conversations and I'm never gonna lie to you about it. And whether it's about that or not, guess what still applies? Consent, you're right. Do you remember what we talked about for consent? Let's talk about it more. This is demonic, demented, and disturbing. I I don't know why this individual felt that this video needed to be made because the correct answer is that you should not need to be talking to under tens about kink or fetish or anything of the sort. That is bizarre and strange and inappropriate. They do not need to be exposed to that. And also like, if you're saying, oh, well, I need to talk to them about it because they saw it at Pride, do not take your children to Pride events if there's going to be kink and fetish on display. I've said this for a while about Pride stuff. Pick one, kids or kink, because you can't have both, at least not unless you're really, really sick in the head. You guys, you can tell I'm getting frustrated by this, right? And that's because as a gay person... I have personally had people lie about me and say horrible things and peddle in grotesque stereotypes that gay people are out to get children or are predators. And that was a trope that was thrown at gay people for decades and is not statistically true. But then you have idiots like this woman who's probably just a woke straight, straight white woman cosplaying as queer, actively affirming those stereotypes by being creepy towards kids and posting about it on the internet. It really upsets me. It gives the entire community a bad name. It gives perfect fodder to those who want to continue those stereotypes against us. And it is genuinely harmful towards minors who are vulnerable and need to be protected, not exposed to adult content or have a adult ideas and values and priorities pushed onto them at young, impressionable, underdeveloped ages. It is so wrong. It's so disturbing. And it is a microcosm of everything that's wrong with the online fringe of the LGBT community. Guess what, guys? You are gifting the haters, the actual bigots of the world, the perfect ammunition to use against all of us to smear all LGBT people as groomers or whatever with stuff like this. So I am begging these people once and for all to stop, stop mixing kink and kids. It's sick. It's demonic. It's possessed. It's evil. It's bizarre. And more than anything else, stop posting this kind of creepy, bizarre nonsense on the internet. I've had enough. I'm sick of it. And I just I can't stand it. I can't stand what they're doing to our community. There's a reason progress and acceptance is going backwards, not forwards for the first time in decades. It's really, really harmful stuff and it needs to stop. You guys let me know what you think of that demonic little video in the comments below and do hit that like button to reward my suffering because I just lost at least a dozen brain cells watching that insanity. Uh, <laughs>